What is the new internet of money? If the people of America ever were to understand how the money system worked, there'd be a revolution by tomorrow morning. Most of the cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin belongs to the very same banks. Basically nothing's changed except the wrapping. Are we standing on the cusp of change here in Dubai? I think it's very important to set a standard around the world uh, how, on how to really flourish this technology. In this blockchain industry, we get our trust to the machines. We are trusting to computers, to blockchains, to decentralized ledger more than even for ourselves. Will this trustless system of Web3 withstand the challenges ahead? Governments and banks are the same. They, ha they have no power against Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the people's money. In all these problems, in all these issues, we're only seeing opportunities. And will Bitcoin truly remain king and support Web3 innovation? The rulers and the government and everyone, they are very, very interested to welcome all those people who have good businesses, also technology-wise, because technology here is embraced. My positioning, in terms of what I do, is create more networking and more opportunities for discussion, because that is exactly what solves the many problems, as you rightly noted, within our space. The Future Is Now presents Together with Guyway Events Market Making Pro Farcana Bonus Market and Media Chain Wow Summit, Dubai, 2022. The world of Web3. Da Vinci Jeremy, a prominent Bitcoin enthusiast, trader, blockchain media executive, and an early crypto adopter. If you ask the average person doing their day-to-day -day life of nine to five job, ask them, how does money come into existence? Where does it come from? They have no clue. And that's by design. Even in 2008, because of the problems which concern to the banking system, now we see digital money. And because of the problem of the ownership in the real life, now we get some solution in metaverses, in NFT. We need our presence there as well. Sergey Sevensyan, CEO of MediaChain, a huge multi-platform specifically crafted for content creators, social media influencers, and their communities to monetize earnings in the crypto virtual and real world, clearly paving the way for mass adoption. What's the beauty in all this story that media persons as themselves, they would like to understand what exactly crypto about. But if you would talk to them, you know guys, just buy these tokens, buy that, they do not see the value of them. You have to find the right thread to take them, to fish them somehow, take on board it, prepare the content they love to promote if want their communities done. Their communities on your side. That's it what we need. We have very clear strategy which is actually focus on education for the masses as well. So we're doing a lot of interviews, TV shows, mass kind of media and also new media kind of content, both in Arabic and in English, and that's gonna be really is pushing the, the envelope when it comes to adoption. Dr. Marwan al Zaruni, CEO of Dubai Blockchain Center, being a local authority on this technology, ensuring Web3 adoption takes place properly. The center also became the supporting partner of this very WOW Summit here in Dubai. A lot of people will follow Dubai when it comes to regulation and, and how uh, it actually creates a fertile ground for technology. As a founding member of the Dubai Blockchain Center and a direct advisor to the CEO, we did also a partnership with my startup, which is Bonus. And now, obviously, it will help us because we get probably a little bit more trust and confidence because it's more official, but also the Dubai Blockchain Center makes partnerships with other good entities. 
Matthias Mende with Bonus Market, a celebrity turnkey solution for maximizing the engagement between fans and celebrities. Establishing something called E2E or Engage to Earn, being the perfect project for Dubai's already celebrity brewing ecosystem. Matthias is showcasing the power of Web3. We as Bonus, we work also with celebrities. And those celebrities, when we kind of clone them with some technologies which are available, also have the responsibility about what happens with their copy in the metaverse in the future in case if they die. What happens if a celebrity dies and his clone generates money and works in the metaverse? Who receives the money? Breakthrough concepts at the WOW Summit, which saw over 7,000 futurists flock to the Burj Park from all over the world, right underneath the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. In the past few months, I think we've seen the monetary system starting to collapse faster and faster through uh, massive inflation. And um, Bitcoin, in my opinion, might serve as this uh, Noah's Ark where whether you're in or not, it's of course your own decision, but it's a, almost a, like a life or death situation. If you don't buy Bitcoin, then your financial assets will collapse. Carl Rumfeld, founder of the Moon Group, a man who just over three years ago was a cashier at a supermarket, has now become a Web3 entrepreneur and a staunch supporter of Bitcoin with innovation of Web3, who saw his life change forever. I have now, I think, invested in more than 360 crypto startups. On average, every single startup, I make 10, 15x return on my money. There is no interesting games. It's some cats game, some 2D model game, which is designed and even 15 years back, 20 years back, it was, it was there. Meet Ilman Shajayev with Farkana, the first Bitcoin prize arena team shooter game built on Unreal 5 that solves the problem of outdated earn-only games. Their platform includes former heads of gaming industry giants such as Electronic Arts, Wargaming and Epic Games and patented play-to-hash technology where you enter with the Farkana token but you get to win Bitcoin. And the idea we give not Bitcoin, we give him hash rate, which is producing Bitcoin every day. There is a factory. Okay, every day he can check how many miners is there, how many hash rate is there, how many payouts made before. So he feel comfortable, he feel, he feel confident about the project. This was one of the most difficult events that I've put together in my life. One of the difficulties was getting Imar to sign up for this. It took me around three months, because this is the first blockchain event to ever take place at the Burj Park. Guy Yanpolsky, founder of Guyway Events, the mastermind behind WOW Summit, who managed to erect a massive compound of Web3, smack down in the middle of Dubai. Everyone who is here, I consider a partner, because this is certainly not the first, nor the last event, that we'll hold. Market Making Pro, co-founders of the WOW Summit, who also play a crucial role in the world of crypto that is similar to some of the largest traditional banks in the fiat world. We have quite a standard and classic model of operation, as we are market makers in the world of cryptocurrencies. We provide the possibility for projects to hold certain metrics and allow for attractive investment trading, if you will, on various exchanges. Welcome to the world of Web3. Stay tuned for the future. The future is now. Governments and also the banking system, they know that this will disrupt their ability to create money and spend it. And so they have to slow it down. They know they can't stop it because you can't uninvent something whose time has come and Bitcoin's time has come. Created by One Day Productions.
Welcome to the future. I'm Miguel Francis Santiago and this is the Future Is Now film, your robe encrypted documentary that's been documenting Bitcoin's disruption across the world for the past five years. And here we are yet again in the city of the future, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, checking out the WOW Effect, WOW Summit, courtesy of Guyway Events and many other amazing people including the Dubai Blockchain Center. So let's check this out and what this entails as we take today to build a better tomorrow. Follow me. The wow effect has been achieved. Guyway Events along with MM Pro and many supporting partners, including the Dubai Blockchain Center, have successfully produced a gathering of Web3 professionals, leading companies in the space and thought leaders from the industry of blockchain, all under one glass roof, having over 7,000 people show up to the footsteps of Burj Khalifa in early summer of 2022. The Future Is Now film couldn't miss out on the action, so in the next half hour, we invite you for a dive into education, infotainment, and most importantly, a glimpse at the future as Web 2 evolves into something that is called Web 3. So what is Web 3? We meet with Carl Runfeld and Da Vinci Jeremy, Bitcoin entrepreneurs, both successful YouTube influencers in the crypto world, who have been educating the masses on Bitcoin's mass adoption, which is evidently responsible for the coming of Web3. With all of the um, craziness in crypto, NFTs, that, and uh, meme coins there, you kind of sometimes forget about why we're all here. And I think Bitcoin is the core reason. Bitcoin is the king. It's very, very important that we decentralize our money supply and that's what Bitcoin is doing. Bitcoin is the most safest asset in the world. It's the most scarcest asset in the world. And uh, in my opinion, Bitcoin is the best form of money that humans have ever seen before. The price history of Bitcoin reflects the revolutionary um, aspects of Bitcoin that I just um, uh, described. And I think that we have seen nothing yet. Bitcoin, is, we're still early in Bitcoin. Whether you buy Bitcoin at $1,000, $50,000, or even $300,000, I think people, everyone should get into Bitcoin at any price that they can, because uh, in the next 10 to 20 years, I think we're gonna see millions of dollars per Bitcoin. This is why um, they're, they're going to push heavily against Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. They've already started. I believe that uh, they are manipulating the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's all they need to do for now. They're probably going to throw in other cryptocurrencies in the future. You'll notice that a lot of other assets in our, in our economy are rocketing up. If you buy expensive watches, cars, high-end cars, they're constantly going up in value even though you actually use them. Why is that? Well, it's because they're printing so much money. No matter what the position of the various governments on the future of Web3 is, it is important to understand that it is Bitcoin that paved the way for this technology, which is essentially the storage and trustless ownership of your value within the World Wide Web. You own your money, your password and login. You own your data, unlike in Web2, where all of the above is stored on a centralized server, which then controls, sells, and uses that data, however the corporate entity behind it deems necessary. The new internet of money, or in other words, cryptocurrencies that followed the disruption that Bitcoin created, carry the storage into what is now called Web3. We the people now have the ability to create, control, and trade our intricate value however we see fit. It was started from the internet of information in 90s and the first decade of this century. Then after 2010 to 2020, it was era of the internet of things. When you can buy through Amazon in the internet, you can buy the things and sell it as well. Now it's coming the most important era for the internet transformation is internet of value. The biggest impact for this transformation will start in, from 2020 to 2030, in this period. Internet of value, the new internet of money, or Web3, allows you to see what decentralization is all about, while also enjoying the fruits of the industry in a completely different environment than what you're currently used to in Web2. 
What Ilman Shajayev and his team at Furkana have created exemplifies exactly that opportunity. A high quality 3D shooter game five metaverse with carefully thought out design and lore for the Furkana world built on Unreal 5 engine. Where you get to win actual Bitcoin in form of hash rate that is guaranteed by the data mining centers of the company. Such features as NFT playable characters, unique competitive formats, and a wide selection of avatars with original weapons and abilities already set the game apart from much of the competition out there. But the most exciting feature is the NFT land ownership, which allows you to control and distribute the Bitcoin price hash rate, host battle royale tournaments, and more. End of the day, the users, they need to sell their token because all what they got in these games is the tokens of this project. Market go down, token price go down. So token price go down, people need to cash it out. When they need cash it out, all the capitalization of the project and price is just dumping. It's crashing the projects and crashing not only the project, but the pockets of the million people. But with our model, when we allowing to invest to our token, but you all time can get Bitcoin back. This is how we come to create the standard, we call it play to hash, which can balance the economy of the projects when people can invest the, to the token of the project, like us, Farkana, and the all time he can get more stable economy unit like a Bitcoin. One of the things I wanted to do at the end of this, once Bitcoin becomes money, basically, that's, that's the end game, all right, is to provide education for the population to never go back to central banking. Because Henry Ford once said, if the people of America ever were to understand how money system work, there'd be a revolution by tomorrow morning. Because it's a criminal system that sucks wealth from them without their knowledge and gives it to the rich. Da Vinci Jeremy has been educating the masses on cryptocurrencies and the power of Web3 over his massive social media presence under the brand Da Vinci J15, which has been acting as a mass adoption tool for many years now. We met with Da Vinci for the first time at the Blockchain Cruise in 2019, and we've been following the man ever since. Eight years prior to that, in 2011, Da Vinci got into Bitcoin at 67 cents. Now he follows the philosophy of fix the money, fix the world. Truly to the core of that meaning, pointing to the obvious flaws in governments and centralized control. They use this technology to, to suck wealth from people and they wanted to make sure that you did not know that. So they first started funding schools. Then they realized, wait a second, this is costing us money. I've got an idea. We'll get the government to create the schools, right? And we'll print more money for them to uh, borrow to create schools. And we'll convince them to make sure that they do not educate the population about central banking. And this is why no one knows how money works. I don't want to rely on the regulations. Actually, I don't care. You know why? Because right now, people caring about themselves. We have a technology, we have ability, we everything get inside that digital ledgers and we ensure million, not hundred, million percent that everything stored there. Before this electricity is appears, before even one computer on the planet just works, we can 100% assure that everything is existed before that moment. I'm not sure that aliens or something other people or something other humankind who can come into and uh, destroy everything around is impossible. But we see that kind of destroyness around the planet not one time, many times done by regulations, done by governments, by the people who don't take care about the nations. You know, we need each other. We need our presence with each other. We need the mind changing. We need that networking. That's why at all in each and every event, so many people come in for networking and for communities. That's my point. 
Sergei Sevensyan has been a community builder in the Web3 space since 2018. His latest adventure takes him into the CEO role of Media Chain, a platform that also educates and creates an on-ramp for celebrities and any person who wishes to become a part of the Web3 space and monetize their community in a self-sustainable ecosystem that creates exponential growth for the asset in play. One of the latest use cases for Media Chain is the onboarding of football superstar Ronald Dino from Brazil. With a 50,000 plus community worldwide, Media Chain today proposes a working tool for Web3 mass adoption on a global level. This is the power of MediaCoin and the tools it has created to ease the onboarding process for those who have the pull into the masses. All media persons, they need presence somewhere. You can do events in a real life, but you can advance them on the metaverse as well, on the mediaverse as well. You see around on a COVID situation, so many artists, so many creators comes into the Zoom platforms, come into the digital space and finally get the audience there as well. And we see that that trend is, is ongoing. You know, once you come into the platform and spending your own money, it maybe you will take care. I will spend my money on this NFT, no, on another NFT to present here or there. But once you create based on your money and you don't lose even a penny out of that, 100% you will be able to finally take it. From the beginning, I worked for the corporates, for Hewlett Packard Enterprise, for Microsoft, a little bit for IBM, Nokia, Alcatel Lucent. I am evangelist, I am technologist evangelist. But now in this industry, everyone, you have to be media, you have to show your face, you have to prepare all this information for the people. And we need some solutions for that. That's why we clearly see in this space right now how media persons can be helpful for us. Because the boring information that how exactly it works, what the blockchain is about, how to transact crypto, how to make smart contracts, all that stuff, it's not so interesting. But when and while you're creating the show, something magic happens. For the show makers, for the persons who are able to and who wants to come into that NFTs, that marketplaces, that metaverses, finally this year become something special. Some people, they still think that um, I'm the YouTuber Carl, but uh, of course the YouTube channel today is more just something I do for fun. I still like making my videos online because I love my audience, I love my fans. I'm never gonna give up on them, I, I love them so much. My core business today is of course the Moon Group, and through the Moon Group I am uh, founding multiple cryptocurrency companies. I may be the most aggressive um, investor in the cryptocurrency space when it comes to investing in crypto startups, but it just goes to show how much I believe Believe in this space because I know that with these investments, the odds of me, you know, investing in the next Amazon, Facebook, or Netflix is very, very high, and I know that this space is going to the moon. Carl Runefeld has taken the media opportunity as an influencer and grew into a full-fledged techpreneur in the Web3 space. His latest adventure takes him into a partnership with Engen Altan Duzetian, known for his role in a Turkish drama called Erturu Bey and their creation of the Medieval Empires. A strategy GameFi platform that will be yet another tool for Web3 mass adoption in the world of emerging tech. A little bit more than three years ago, I was still working in a supermarket in Sweden as a cashier and I decided that I wanted to become successful. I wanted to become um, you know, wealthy and uh, free and I wanted to travel the world and I wanted to become extraordinary. I wanted to have my parents be proud of me. And uh, that decision uh, drove me to researching about, you know, how to change my life, how to change my mindset. I researched the law of attraction and I started to visualize my dream life. Uh, I told myself every day, I'm happy, I'm rich, I'm free, I'm successful, I'm proud of myself, I love my life. I told myself every single day for years, I, I still to this day keep telling myself these things every day. And um, everything changed. Literally in the next one, two years, my whole life completely changed. And the interesting thing is that when I made the decision, when I started my visualization of private jets and everything, I had still no idea about Bitcoin. I still didn't know that it even existed. I want everybody to participate in this revolution in technology and they need to get a little bit. Because remember what I said, just buy $1 worth 
just a small amount, right? It's like a lottery ticket. Like you throw that away, you buy, you do lottery tickets all the time. You could handle a small amount of Bitcoin and hold it and watch. You'll do well. What will be the first thing you guys will do when Bitcoin hits 100K? I will get a Bitcoin tattoo, probably. A nice uh, Bitcoin tattoo somewhere. And then when it gets to a million, probably something even crazier. Dubai has taken the forefront for Web3. The city has truly become a place of knowledge, education and opportunity, empowering people from all over the world to bear the fruit of this industry. The Dubai government has officially announced its plan to be the first government-supported city that will have an actual metaverse on top of the physical town itself. How is your impression of the WOW Summit at the Burj Park? Beautiful location, very unique, like in the heart of Dubai, right next to the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. And a lot of people who actually visited there, they were also very impressed because this part of the city actually looks like a metaverse, Taiba, futuristic city itself. We are very happy and me as bonus to be actually in this uh, family or in this country and operate from here. When I see people working nine to five jobs and normal jobs, it's like, it kills me a little bit. They're, they're turning humans into machines, into coffee machines, into food machines. It's like human beings. And I want to be known for making the world free and making people free, financially free. Metaverse was always a part and actually the third phase of bonus market because we give a complete new experience. So we don't use the very classical web three way with MetaMask or Trust Wallet or some of these browser extensions. We actually use Telegram as a solution because we will onboard so many new users because those users come from celebrities and brands, whereby brands can be also games. So there would be complete new people in crypto which are not used to lose their wallet and then not to recover it. They are used to lose the password and click forgotten password and get the request and log in back. So that's why we use Telegram because there if somebody loses his phone, he just gets a new SIM card, installs his Telegram account and still has the wallet and the access to everything. Matthias Mende, the man behind Bonus Market, a celebrity marketplace that creates a whole array of opportunities between the celebrities and their fans, engaging the followers in a completely new way, allowing for the celebrity to use the power of his or her fan base all over the world. We need to make the utilities of Bonus shown in such a way that other celebrities embrace them and actually come to us because we add so much value to them. We make a whole new connection with their fans. Even celebrities gain because their fans suddenly will become supporters for them much more because they are part of them. They can help to boost their career, to spread their events because now when the fans do those type of actions, those actions get accounted and the celebrity can see who is his greatest supporters. He can simply reward them by sending a personal message to them, thanking them, and this will only fuel the energy of the other part of the community. Creating tangible products in the world of Web3 is truly a task, especially now, with the regulations and governments looking closely at this technology. As we are here at the WOW Summit, we will meet with government officials of the Emirate of Dubai to explore what's on the agenda and what's next for the world of Web3 right here in your favorite city of the future. I think WOW represents a really good way for people to learn about Web3. First hand, they can meet the founders, they can meet the exchanges, they can meet the people that are developing, creating, and also buying, collecting, 
all the stuff in one place. And I think this is, it's done it in a, an amazing way. But I think Web3 is the future, and I think we are here in Dubai, standing at the footsteps of Burj Khalifa. We in Dubai not only claim that we can do stuff, but we actually build it. The Dubai Blockchain Center, headed by Dr. Marwan al Zarouni, has been inaugurated by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, on the 15th of May 2018. The center since then has been bringing together blockchain thought leaders, developers, investors, and educators, truly becoming one of the prime authorities on digital assets and Web3 in the region. In Dubai, we are run as a business, and always we favor partnering with businesses and partnering with the top leaders in that technology. We always partner with the best to create the best for Dubai and create a user experience based technology or product. We always focus on our users, whether they are the exchanges or the money handling businesses or the investors or, or even the institutions. This kind of approach is the best because we are in it together as a regulator as well as an enabler and as, as well as an, a promoter. All well, together we can actually make a difference, not only here for Dubai, but create a model where we can take this actually globally. And that is the key to understanding Web3 and this revolution of the Internet of Value. It is something that aligns the incentives of the shareholders, the investors, the teams, and their communities. And every user in Web3 is a shareholder because with this technology, we are no longer building businesses. We are building communities, and our power is in our numbers. But it is not so everywhere in the world as it is in Dubai. Many countries out there have taken a much less supportive stance on Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, and the future of Web3. You have, you know, the Federal Reserve and the government of the United States that would frown heavily if Dubai were to go full on into crypto and support crypto so they can't go that route. That would turn the eye of the United States and all its might and power towards Dubai's uh, government. And they don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> that at all. I would say they would have to do that very slowly and very delicately with consensus of other countries as well if I was in their shoes. The chance to create our own money and make them decentralized, giving the people truly full control over their value. Is this a dream? Is this unattainable? This is a dream that will soon become a reality. I think that this dream will be upkept to the last, in order for people to keep believing. And this dream will be controlled in order to make money on what the space calls the hamster crowd. If we look at Ripple or Solana and many other companies, it's clear now that 90% of their token supply belongs to top 10 wallets. Basically, nothing changed, except the wrapping. Alex Glatzke and Mikhail Filipov, the founders of Market Making Pro, who are running a much more traditional business in the world of Web3, bring a bit of great clouds to the vision. As traditional financiers, their job is to create market making for companies, and despite the similarities they see between traditional centralized systems and Web3, they are still one of the best in the market at what they do, with over 400 clients under their belt, while also being the co-founders of the WOW Summit brand and conference, clearly showing their trust in the possibility that this dream of immutable value ownership and the new internet of money will come to fruition one day. Projects come to us. They give us certain metrics that are essentially given to them by the exchanges. And we, as a service provider, simply have to follow these metrics and provide a quality service for our clients. That's it. Why the comparison to other market makers? Probably because we were one of the first on this market, taking a leading position. It seems like we were even part of creating this market. Market making in cryptocurrency, yes. 
this because if we were to recall 2017, it was super hush to even talk about it. People were super discreet about this. You'd come to a project and be like, hey guys, we can provide the following service for you. We'd give you a trader, a bot for market making, and the reply would be, hush, don't tell anyone. It's dangerous and uncharted. The status was really unknown and the name market maker was very tainted. Traditional market makers are large banks, such as Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and many others, including the top five and top 10 US banks. And they don't just control the currency exchange worldwide, they also happen to be the underwriters. They withdraw these funds through brokers and then sell them to that same hamster crowd, but in the real world. Whenever a country tried to get off the dollar standard, we saw the end results. Iraq was an example, and same with Gaddafi could kill 800 Americans. That's okay, you can still live, <laughs> but, oh, you want to go on a gold standard? Oh, oh no, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> However, the world of Web3 through Bitcoin's mass adoption has seen countries take the stance against centralization. El Salvador became a beacon of hope in 2022 as it officially allowed for a portion of its treasury to be held in the Bitcoin standard. President Bukele has taken a daring step to take the country out of centralized control that is upkept entirely by the fiat system. You know what I think? It's Bitcoin comes up on the planet because of the fail. I don't, I, I, I don't be in Salvador, I don't meet the president or vice president up there, but I feel that Salvador has no choice. But the best choice to create or to use the currency is the real Bitcoin. I think that another currencies will come up because Bitcoin for the transaction is not so good. Okay, you can use the Lightning Network or all that thing, but Salvador now gives, gives us very good example. You know guys, if you are filled with your own currency, you can use another one. And this parallel world or this alternative, we finally here, have here on this digital space as well. No one can treat us, no one can stop us, and no one can ban us. Guys, this is new world. Big talks about the Bitcoin mining, for example. So many people say, oh, it's very bad for the environment. But if you compare it with the fundamental industry, traditional industry factories like a coal factories, which is really bad for the environment and damaging our planet, the Bitcoin mining is maybe 0.0 some percent in this, if you take it all together. For sure, we are working with the government to get some green electricity in the UAE for mining, uh, to build our facilities here, to open it here, and negotiations for the time is going very well. Education is another crucial part to mastering Web3. We hope so far you've enjoyed the introductory course that this film presented you with, but stay hungry, stay foolish, and always do your own research. Dubai is the world leader actually in education when it comes to blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And Dubai Blockchain Center is at the core of that. We actually not only educate uh, regulators, but uh, educate the actual exchanges and uh, the general public, the government departments on use cases and utility when it comes to each kind of type of blockchain. And it's again an amazing place to come and learn, an amazing place to rub shoulders with other thought leaders. It's an amazing place to get uh, you know, liquidity for projects. And it's an amazing place to get talent even. And uh, create Dubai creates something like a lifestyle as a service. And this is very, very important. If you are a developer, you want to live in a place where everything is convenient for you. You don't have to think about anything else. Frictionless, basically. And this is what Dubai provides you. Some people ask me, what's your exit plan? And I don't really have like an exit plan. Bitcoin and crypto is my exit plan. I am exiting the financial system. I am entering a new era. I think within five to 10 years, we will see Bitcoin and crypto be uh, a complete dominating factor in the world. An event in the world of Web3 never ends without a party with a bang. 
This time we're back on the Lotus Mega Yacht, which we last enjoyed during our first episode of this film series at the Futurama Blockchain Innovators Summit here in Dubai. As the wow effect takes over the attendees, there's no doubt that this event will stay in the hearts and minds of the community. World Summit is the most rocking event in Dubai, definitely. It was um, really challenging for me because uh, I'm a Russian YouTube blogger, not English speaking. But I'm really impressed of this uh, event. The people, the vibe, the venue, the location, Best event. Uh, everything was amazing. Good conference. I love this event. Guys, you rock. Wow Summit is the best. This is the event you should repeat quickly again. It was very good, very productive. A lot of people were here. A lot of really, really interesting people were here. All around. I loved it. Perfect event organized by a very talented team and so many opportunities we have for our own partnership, for our companies which we represent on the event and we're also glad to see that every time the event goes higher and higher and the quality and standards goes to the tier one level in the market. Big thanks for the WOF Summit and all participants. Of Amazing, best people, best community. You are amazing because I know you from 2018, bro. <laughs> it's amazing community. I love the atmosphere. Every people is like crazy. You come to everyone, it's like the great, the great pleasure of the day, really. So thank you for joining Wow Summit. I'm Kirill from InfoDriver Capital. This is the best event in Dubai. Welcome. How did you do this? Bro, because she's the best. <laughs> How did you do this? How did you manage this? Enthusiasm, like a lot of love, a lot of support of every single speaker who was there. I felt that um, energy from my team who were like extremely supportive, who were ripping their asses off to give that experience to every single member of that. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for yeah. Guys, buy Bitcoin every time. You need a waiting uh, bottom and uh, purchase only for all your USDT and uh, sale 2025 $150,000. Ребята, это было Guys, this was simply wow. The wow summit, the most mesmerizing crypto event in the most scenic location by the Burj Khalifa. This was simply the best. Can't wait for the next event. Это стиль, ребята! Вау, эффект has been done! Нормально? What is Web3? What is the new Internet of Money? Will Bitcoin replace the fiat system and will you be using a metaverse within the next few years as a part of your daily life? You now are able to answer all of these questions after embarking on this informative deep dive with the Future Is Now film. What will you take away from this episode? Don't be scared, don't be afraid, be confident and get these opportunities. You will see a lot of scam projects, some bad companies, is a bad sample, but come to the nature of our world, the idea to integrate this technologies in our life and get the best opportunities and the best use cases for yourself from this industry. I know you think, well, how can Bitcoin get to millions of dollars? Well, once it takes over all the bad money, then it's going to be, you won't be measured in dollars because it, dollars won't exist anymore because you'll be able to buy stuff in stores. So I suggest you buy even just a small amount, just a tiny bit of Bitcoin, so that when, you, when it becomes money in the future, you'll be very well off. In this world, we have to believe on ourselves on the beginning. Next, you can believe to technologies and believe to each other. I feel and I swear that finally this moment will happen on my life, it's not in my life, on my life, kids. We have to, on the beginning, trust each other and rely on each other. This is the best story about our human sense.
This is and will be the WOW Summit, the one event that blends the world of Web3 in so many colorful ways. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to the future. I'm Miguel Francis Santiago and the future is now. If you still hold zero Bitcoin, then you are taking a massive risk. Now is the time to act because, of course, the best time would have been to act one year ago, five years ago, ten years ago. But the second best time to act is right now because Bitcoin is going to change the world, it's going to change the monetary system. It is actually already changing the monetary system as we speak. And I think that every person out there, they get in on Bitcoin at the price that they deserve. So um, you choose, do you deserve $10,000 Bitcoin, $50,000 Bitcoin? $100,000 Bitcoin, a $1 million dollar Bitcoin, you decide which price you're gonna get in at. And let's just say, I've been uh, scaling into Bitcoin very aggressively, very heavily for the past few years, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. I keep accumulating Bitcoin into my net worth. I have a massive bet on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is going to the moon. It's a very high risk industry, that's how it's classified. But it's a great industry because all the people come together, learn, we learn, you learn, I learn every day. And I believe for the good purpose of the future of humanity and the betterment of humanity, you are already in the perfect place with us in the right crypto blockchain metaverse environment and stay with the nice people, learn, be a better human and let's save the world together in the long run. We are here at the footsteps of Burj Khalifa and all I can say is let this inspire you, you know? Learn about this technology. Let this technology take you to new heights and let it enable you to grow both financially and also when it comes to education and knowledge. The future is already now. Every moment matters. We don't know what's coming next, but we know one thing for sure. Together we rise. Join our crypto community. Alone, we are nothing. Together, we are strong. The next WOW Summit will take place in Hong Kong in early 2023, and we hope to see you again this time among the Summit's attendees. Hit the bell button, subscribe to our channel, and please share and like this video. It will help us spread the message and prepare for the next step in achieving decentralization. Welcome to the futureisnow.community, and don't forget to sign up for our mailing list. Don't miss the future. The future is now.